All right, today we will be disassembling an Acer Nitro 5, model number AN515-42. And for this job, we are going to need a Phillips uh, 2 or 2.5 millimeter. All right, so first we will remove the two covers on the bottom for the memory and the hard drive. Just loosen the screw and then pop it up in the corner with your finger. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove the memory stick. Just spread the little bars. Pull the memory stick straight out. And for the hard drive, we have four screws holding the caddy in. So go ahead and remove those. Pull up on the hard drive and then gently pull the SATA connector without tugging too much on the little ribbon there. And then to remove your hard drive, you just take out the four screws. All right, next we will go around the bottom cover here and remove all of the Phillips head screws. All right, once the screws have been removed, uh, we're gonna go around the edges where the bottom cover connects to the palm rest and just work free the snaps. And once you have the bottom cover removed, you'll have access to the internals of the laptop. Okay, first we're gonna start with the battery. So go ahead and free any sticky tape or anything else that's kind of stuck in it. And then for the connector, just grab the little notches with your fingernails and pull it straight out. And you'll have a couple Phillips head screws.
Alright, so first we will remove the Wi-Fi card and then the in-out board. So for the Wi-Fi card, you're going to need a slightly smaller Phillips bit. This is a 1.5. And just gently pull up on the Wi-Fi antennas to release them from the card and pull it straight up. And then for the in-out board, we're going to flip up the little connector that retains the ribbon and pull the ribbon straight out. Remove the little sticky tape. Then we can remove the screw for the in-out board. All right, now we will do the DC jack and the uh, SATA hard drive connector. So the DC jack connector should just pull straight out. Maybe a little wiggling. And then gently remove the tape here. And we can flip up the retainer for the SATA connector, pull straight out. All right, next we will remove the cooling fan and heat sink. Okay, and then we have two connectors, one for each fan. This one is pretty easy to get out. The bottom one, you might need to um, wiggle the heat sink assembly free before you can pull it out. Oops, one more screw right there. We can get that bottom connector. And then there's the heat sink and fan assembly. All right, now let's remove the motherboard. For this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you disconnect any uh, ribbons or connectors that are attached to the motherboard, except for the pram battery right here. It's, this is always gonna stay plugged in. Some of these pull straight out, others you have a small gate or a retainer that you lift up 
and then this type has a retainer that has to be pulled outwards toward the ribbon before it will release it. Okay, looks like we've got the ribbons. Now we can take off the Phillips head screws. So this one is a smaller type. This one's about a 1.5. Same with this one on the end. And we have a middle one here that is a 2.5. All right. Once you have the screws out, just gently lift up on the motherboard. Make sure your pram battery is free. And then remove the motherboard. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and separate the display assembly from the palm rest. So you want to make sure that you have the cables freed. You have the two Wi-Fi antennas over on this side and then the video cable on this. So once you have those cleared, you can go ahead and start removing the hinges. Um, for this side, I'm just going to re, um, take one screw out of each side. That way it'll be easier once I want to go ahead and remove the display. So we just have one screw left on each side. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you can flip it over and then keep a hand underneath to support it and then remove the two remaining screws holding the hinges in. should be able to separate the two and there's your complete display assembly all right now for the display uh, we need to remove the front bezel to access the screen and hinges and webcam all the internals of the display so you're going to want to go along um, the crease where the bezel and the back cover uh, meet and just pop up the little snaps. And then the bezel can be removed. And now you'll have access to removing the screen or the hinges or the webcam if you need to. Um, but in this case, we're gonna leave the display complete. So that is how you disassemble the, um, the laptop. And if this video helped you or you like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.